Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on using the Seaboard Rise 2 in Logic Pro. My name is Diana, I'm a producer and engineer and by the end of this video you will be able to confidently use your Seaboard Rise 2 in Logic and make full use of all the expressive features it has to offer. So to start off with you can simply connect the Rise 2 via the USB cable or you can also take advantage of the Bluetooth connectivity. So to set this up simply look up audio MIDI setup in the spotlight search, go to window and show MIDI studio, locate the Rise 2 and click connect. Once the Rise 2 is fully charged, it will allow up to eight hours of continuous play via Bluetooth. Once you have set up, make sure you download Rarely Connect. Here you will be able to register your device and download additional software, including Equator 2. So the Seaboard Rise 2 is different to other MIDI controllers. Thanks to its MPE features, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression, it provides much more expressivity at your fingertips. On top of the standard MIDI data, it also tracks parameters like pitch and pressure. This means you can seamlessly record pitch bends, polyphonic aftertouch, slides, and so much more. Within Rolly Connect, you will find the Rolly dashboard. Here you can set up and customize your Rise 2. The Rise 2 has different modes. So for example, if you didn't want to use the MPE features and simply play it as a normal keyboard, you can put it in piano mode, either using the faders or within the Rolly dashboard. You can also individually introduce the slide, glide and press features and adjust their sensitivity. Also use the power button to easily switch between expression control and MIDI CC. You can also change the CC channels of the MIDI faders. This will allow you to map the faders to the effects in your DAW and plugins. We also have another video that goes into this in more detail. Equator 2 lets you know if your Seaboard is in MPE mode. So if you see this warning sign while using one of the MPE instruments, simply open the dashboard and make sure it's set to MPE mode. Okay, so now that we've set up, let's start by laying down some tracks in the Rise 2. Take a listen to how easy it is to add bendy guitars, bass slides emotive strings and trigger filters and other functions by using the slide feature I can also alter these sounds on the fly by using the XY pad, which will trigger the macros in Equator 2. And again, I can also adjust the sensitivity of all these features with the faders on the left-hand side. There is a huge library of presets in Equator 2 that are both MPE and standard MIDI compatible. The MPE presets are marked in blue, while the standard MIDI presets are in orange. Equator 2 will work fantastically with other MIDI controllers, and it instantly recognizes the type of controller that's connected to it, but you can also switch off this feature if you wanted to. The Equator 2 is also a powerful synthesis software in of itself, whether you're using it with Rise 2 or not. There are six oscillators with four different engine types, plenty of modulation functions, and it offers plenty of customizability for whichever instrument you're trying to create yourself or whether you're wanting to tweak some of the presets that you can find in Equator 2. Did you know that you can also use MPE features with Logic Factory instruments? For example, let's take a look at this retro synth. All you need to do is locate the arrow on the left hand side in the bottom panel, open that up, and turn on MIDI mono mode. This will now allow you to use that instrument as an MPE preset. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out Seaboard Rise 2 and we have plenty more tutorials available on Roly YouTube and Instagram.